Wei, Alec Agrawal, and John Langford, and Chen Yu Wei is again giving the talk. Okay. Hi again. Uh, this is my joint work with my advisor and our collaborators from Microsoft. Okay, so this is about contextual bandit. Uh, let me give you a real, real world example first. So uh, imagine that you're going to build a personalized, personalized news recommendation system. So every day you want to collect some p features about the users and the articles. And then you will recommend piece of news to, tho uh, to those users. And your goal is to, and, and th their feedback will give you some reward, like the click-through rate. And your goal is to uh, earn as much reward as possible. And you can see that this is a bandit problem because you only see whether the recommended news is clicked or not, but not all the other news. And this is different from bandit, uh, multi on bandit because uh, th your action should depend on the, the some side information. And let me more formally define this, this problem. So in each round, uh, you, uh, the learner will see a context. And then based on this context, she will pick an action from one to K and then observe the reward of that action, but not the other action's reward. And the goal is to compete with a, a policy class, which consists of a lot of mappings from context to actions, and, and, and examples are neural networks or trees. And the goal is to minimize the regret. So regret is compare, uh, your accumulated loss compared with the best policy. So uh, to achieve sublinear regret, the classic uh, algorithm uh, for contextual band is EXP4. But, uh, it's, uh, but uh, the, the computational complexity is uh, linear in the cardinality of pi, which is not good because this is all, all often exponentially many. So there are other kinds of algorithms that are efficient in some sense. They, they only make a poly log pi calls to the oracle. And the core oracle is an algorithm that, uh, like this, so it inputs some uh, pairs of context and re reward vectors and output the best mapping in a policy class that, uh, that has the max reward. And this, so this is uh, essentially an empirical risk minimization problem. And you can use uh, the, some uh, classification algorithms you like to implement this algorithm. So they, they are good uh, because they are efficient, but they make some ID assumptions about the context or the reward. So uh, our observation here is that previous uh, efficient contextual bandit algorithms all make some ID assumptions. But this is questionable in the real world because uh, non-ID is ubiquitous. So, uh, you can, so like in the previous example, users may change their preference on a daily or seasonal basis. So our question is, can we have an Oracle-efficient algorithms that handle non-RID data? So to achieve this goal, we, we uh, slightly adjust the assumptions. So we first, we assume that the, the context reward pair are drawn from a time-varying distribution, DT, and then the reward at uh, the regret uh, we, we, we don't compare with the best, uh, best single policy anymore. Uh, we change our comparator every time. So pi t star is the best policy uh, in time t. So uh, you can see from, it's not hard to verify that you, uh, if you define regret like this, sublinear regret is impossible in general. So we, we need to make some more, uh, more assumptions about the distributions. Okay. And there are previous work that also deal with this kind of set, this kind of problem setting, but in a multi arm bandit setting, and they, they have some regret. Uh, depends on some quantity that we will uh, introduce later, but um, their method does not directly translate to our our setting because uh, they uh, they they will be become uh, inefficient. So what are our assumptions? So uh, the assumptions are reasonable. So uh, we assume that uh, the, the first, one, first kind of assumption is that we assume that the distribution doesn't change too frequently. Uh, so they, they doesn't change more than S times. And the assumption two is even more uh, reasonable. We, uh, so they, the 
the distribution can change in every round, but the total variance sum up uh, will, will not exceed delta. So uh, because of the time, so we will only present uh, regret bounds under assumption two. So our first algorithm, add up greedy, achieves some regret like this, delta one fourth, t three fourth. And uh, the second algorithm, add up, I love to combine this, uh, achieve this delta one third, t two third, and this is optimal. But there are caveats about these two algorithms. That is, uh, we, we, don't need, uh, we don't know how to tune the learning rate to... to uh, so your learning rate should depend on the, de the quantity of delta. But this, uh, you, the, in practice, you don't know this quantity in advance. So, but we still design some algorithms that, uh, that can run w when delta is unknown. Uh, but you can see that uh, the, the, the dependency on delta becomes a bad. And uh, the, the key difference between these two bounds and these two bounds are that the exponents here sum to one, but ex the exponents here sum to something larger than one. And this is not good because, uh, so these two bounds will, imagine that you, you change delta from a constant to order of t, then these two bounds will uh, smoothly interpolate between like uh, t to three fourths to order of t. But these two bounds uh, will be become vacuous when delta is very large. So they, they don't give you guarantees when delta is large. So uh, there's a question, can we have a parameter-free algorithm that, uh, that achieves some, some interpolating bounds like this? So we have another algorithm called add up being greedy. So it has some guarantee like this. And this le less, uh, algorithm is answering a and not answer, just providing a solution to the open problem asked in this paper. And so, and, and we also improving and generalize this kind of results, uh, best known results. So in a, in a previous paper, a two-arm bandit problem is investigated, and there they get some bounds like this. And we, we improve their bounds and also generalize the two-arm bandit to contextual bandit. So le uh, let me briefly go over the, the algorithm. So our design principle is like this. We pick an Oracle efficient uh, algorithm that works for IID setting, and we try to uh, run it. And then if we detect some non-stationary narrative, that means uh, that the distribution is no longer IID, then uh, we, we rerun the whole algorithm. So this is the uh, epsilon greedy algorithm. And uh, this is very simple. In every round, with probability epsilon, you do uniform exploration over actions. With probability one minus epsilon, you follow the leader. And you construct some importance weighted estimator feedback and feedback to the algorithm. So uh, the first algorithm we have is based on epsilon greedy, but we do some uh, test with the detection. Okay, and may, so the, the test is like this. We computed two quantities. One is this, one is this. So this is the uh, average reward over the whole horizon. And this is the uh, average reward in some recent intervals, like t to t minus two, t to t minus four, etc. And we, we see whether they are consistent, which means that if their distance, this uh, difference is larger than their uh, confidence interval, then it, they are, they are diff from different distribution. And then for all pi, we check this. And then uh, if, if they are too different, then we will rerun the algorithm. And this check can be implemented by Oracle calls. Okay, and, uh, and add up being greedy is also, uh, at, it's also similar to the previous algorithm but it's uh, having some more centralized exploration. And uh, so you can see uh, it's uh, in a blue, blue region, it's doing the same thing as Epsilon Greedy, but in blue, blue region, it's doing a pure exploration. And uh, this kind of centralized exploration is essential in our analysis. And we can have a parameter-free algorithm that achieves these two bounds that improves previous works. Okay.
Thank you. Questions? Okay, if not, let's thank the speaker again and we'll move to the next talk. So, next paper is by Andrea Locatelli.